Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be taking a look at the Heroic League Chase Objectives. Now, this shouldn't be too long of a video because these are pretty straightforward, but I know as always there will be some confusion with a few of the objectives. It says experience the silence of football's history and pick up some foot heroes on 99 match loans. So I wish they were the best versions of the actual heroes, but they're just simply the base, he base heroes, man. 86 Coit, 87 Cole, 89 Voller. Honestly, EA, this would have been cool if it was like the best version of each one. For example, maybe Foot Fantasy, Al Jabir, um, I think Trophy Titans, Donovan is his best one, so on and so forth. But still, you can get some loans, 99 match loans. I mean, if we're looking at these base cards, probably the only meta one. There probably isn't too many that are incredibly meta. Maybe good for a new road to glory. But I feel like the main reason people will be completing, as you can see below my webcam, you get a 5 by 85 plus pack. Now, as for the objectives, they are pretty straightforward, and it's play two matches using six Eredivisie players in your starting 11, in squad battles on at least semi-pro, or you can do it in rivals and foot champs. Then you've got play two matches using six Prem players, Bundesliga players, Ligue 1, La Liga, Serie A, MLS, and ROSHN, by the way, does mean Saudi League. I mean, it's pretty simple because as you can see, the hero you get in return is the league that you have to use. Um, Eredivisie, obviously the Dutch League in brackets NED1. Um, obviously the Premier League, Bundesliga League and the League of Serie A is pretty straightforward. MLS is just the MLS League and then obviously the Saudi League here is, is the Saudi Arabian League in brackets SAU1, right? And I know there may be some confusion there. Now what EA have done with this, which makes it really annoying, is the fact they've made it six players from that specific league, meaning you can't double up and do several leagues at the same time. Because obviously there's only 11 players um, and you're starting 11, right? and you can't have six plus six is 12 so you can't say you know use a half saudi league half mle squad it simply will not work so you're gonna have to play two matches for each one there's eight objectives so this is gonna take you 16 games to get done now you can do it on squad battles on at least semi-pro or rivals and foot champs and for my quote unquote tip right this will be the tip for today now with squad battles if you guys are grinding squad battles for team of the season because you can get some pretty good rewards right like i mean elite free if you can get elite free you get a bundesliga or an efl tots with a minor league right so you, um, the like main slash minor league for that week so you get a guaranteed tots player i mean if you are good enough you get a guaranteed bundesliga efl tots 250ks and 10k coins for elite one right Right? So obviously it depends obviously what difficulty you're playing. I think you need roughly 45,000 points for Elite 1 and upwards of 30,000 to get Elite 3. But if you are someone that does want to grind uh, squad battles, in fact, what does Gold 1? Gold 1 does give you a player pick. It is max 90 though. But if you are someone that does actually not usually play squad battles often like myself, you know what, and you want to do these objectives for the 5x85 pack, you honestly could do the two birds with one stone. Play the games on a normal difficulty you usually would. Um, obviously, you may, may have to down the difficulty that you usually play it on um, just by one, because obviously you'll be using some different players, like six Prem, six Bundesliga should be fine, but when it comes to the Saudi League, MLS League, you may want to just lower that difficulty one. For example, if you usually play it on World Class, it may be safe to bump it down to Professional. If you usually play on Professional, um, you probably bump it down to semi-pro and remember it has to be minimum semi-pro okay so if you are usually playing on semi-pro you'll have to stick it out if you play on amateur or beginner it will not count right so semi-pro plus play like you usually would and obviously you just want to be getting those leagues in your team as well you may want to make a new concept squad so you don't have to keep changing the main one around but if you do make a new concept squad obviously you've got the premier league league on serie a bundesliga la liga um and then the eredivisie league if we can find it right here eredivisie in brackets ned1 um right there obviously you can use your players there uh and then the mls i think it's a bit lower isn't it yeah the mls is here and in the saudi league can we find the saudi league it's kind of just like a searching game isn't it the saudi league here r-o-s-h-n saudi league right there all right lads you can do it in rivals and foot champs as well but the only way i would do it in one of the two is if you are in a lower division and division rivals if you're on a new road to glory you're on a low division of rivals you can thrash the games in rivals then you could do it in division rivals and you could just you can have up to 
to five subs a match. So you could have your six starters from that specific league and then just sub five of them off, right? Um, so it's essentially just going to be your main team minus one player. So if you are doing it in Rivals or Foot Champs, then you can just simply use your super subs and sub on your main players as you normally would, as long as the six players are starting before you go into the game. I wouldn't recommend doing it in Foot Champs finals, maybe Foot Champs playoffs, but I'll be real lads, squad battles or division rivals is probably your best bet. Any further questions or anything I did miss, make sure to let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.